Hey guys, thanks for tuning on into today's video. I hope you enjoy it. It is more of a discussion topic. So please leave your comments down below and maybe have a few chats with some new makeup and beauty loving friends. I will certainly be there. We've got chips, we've got dip. It'll be a party. Uh, but thank you anyways for tuning on in. If you're new, hi. If you're not new, hey, what's up? What's good? Thank you for coming on back. Don't forget to like this video as well as leave me a comment and subscribe if you haven't done so already. It would be great. So, all right, let's go ahead and jump on in. I really wanted to plan notes for this and I figured I would just speak from the heart instead. Like I said, it'll be a short video. I would love to hear your thoughts. I will also follow this up with a blog post that I'll talk about in a few minutes. So a lot of different places to engage and chat and comment. Today, we are talking about the infamous bi-yearly Sephora store-wide sale that is uh can cause just a lot of heartache and controversy every year uh, so i will give a brief overview of how it has worked in the past how it's working this year and when the sale is expected to kick off now mind you i am filming this the day after this was kind of leaked slash semi announced um so things are subject to change but i just really wanted to talk about different types of buying strategies and what i'll be doing this year which i think will be surprising to a lot of people but twice a year, typically around the holiday time and a little bit before midway through the year, Sephora has a store-wide sale. If you know anything about Sephora, they never really have sales. They do have a little clearance section that is kind of hit or miss, and they've been doing these weekly wows recently, I think to kind of up that, but that's where they do 50% off of select items in store and online. So this sale in particular is great for a lot of people if you... Um, want to shop in Sephora, if you have your eye on some expensive things, it gives you an opportunity to buy things that would be considered like prestige lines in Ulta. And Ulta is great about always having 20% off sales for just like the regular brands. And then they have been upping their sales for prestige brands too. And that includes things like NARS, um, Altart, Urban Decay, we throw in a few more, Anastasia, kind of in that range, which is most of Sephora. Um, is prestige so it's nice because you can spend your money on anything and get 20% off so in the past I've done it a few different ways this year they're doing 20% off everyone and they're going back to the original format of stagnating the weeks so VIB Rouge gets first picked I think starting on November 3rd then the following week is Beauty Insider very important Beauty Insider and then afterwards is uh, Beauty Insider I really only know the acronym for VIB Rouge cough cough <laughs> so that is how they're doing it everyone gets their own week I think everyone gets the same percentage off. Beauty Insider might only get 15. For those of you who are not familiar with the system, Beauty Insider anyone can sign up for. Very important Beauty Insider is when you spend $500 in a calendar year and VIB Rouge is when you spend a thousand. The girl's been VIB Rouge for a while now. We're working on it. We're working on uh, buying things from other places, but I'm still VIB Rouge at least until uh, through the end of next year through 2018. So. This year, I like the format better. I think there is something to be said for the different tiers and giving them their own weeks. Con to that is that if you are VIB or Beauty Insider, a lot of stuff will sell out, unfortunately. So just kind of have to wait and see what's still in stock and get your hands on it. Um, but I, I'll be honest, I like going first because I'm spending the most money in the store. I kind of want to go first. Also, disclaimer, these are just my thoughts. They're not meant to offend or hurt people's feelings at all. If you disagree with me, just politely let me know in the comments. Politely disagree with each other. It's all good. I do love hearing your thoughts. So yeah, I'll be honest. I want to go first. I've said this in a few blog posts. I like going first. <laughs> so I have enjoyed that format in the past. Um, Everyone went the same week, but VIB was VIB Rouge was 20% and VIB was 15. Don't remember what Beauty Insider was. And then in the past, they've given every they've given everyone their own weeks, which I prefer. I think it um, highlights the customer loyalty appreciation a little bit better versus giving everyone the same week. So that's just my thoughts on that. When it comes to actually spending your hard-earned dollars though, this is where I'm here to help. I have a few strategies, only like three or four, so I'll just quickly walk through them and tell you what I'm going to do and tell you what will be on the blog. So strategy number one, 
buy everything. If you're not VIB Rouge, you might become VIB Rouge through this process. So this has been me. I have done this. I have become VIB Rouge from shopping during this particular sale uh, a few times. We'll easily drop $500 in cold hard cash and just bop out the store like that's what I'm supposed to do. And it's definitely not. Um, so I will try to give pros and cons to all of these strategies. Mind you, I only have one that I like, so I don't actually think the rest of them are good, which, so this makes it more of a slightly controversial topic because I do product reviews. I really don't uh, say things in more of like a hot and cold stance and, you know, with like, if you're reviewing foundation, it's foundation, whatever. But I'm messing around with people's money right now, so please don't get offended. But yeah, you can just drop it. Serious bank. Um, pros to this strategy is that Honestly, I think shopping this sale is pointless unless you are spending serious cash because your little 15, your little 20% off, it gets eaten up in tax. Like, it's horrendous when you start crunching the numbers. Like, unless you're spending at least $100, more like $150, $200, you don't really see much of a savings. So if you're someone that likes to clip a good coupon, this is not your sale. I'll just, I would say, save your money for that strategy. Um, if you're gonna buy the whole store, then yeah, this is great because once you start spending a few hundred dollars, you really are saving some coins. Downside to this is that you might start picking up stuff you really don't need. So that's one component to it. Another strategy is to buy your staples, your backups, and I like this strategy as a potential backup to not liking any of them because at least you know you're buying things you're actually going to use and you will get a bit of a savings that you otherwise wouldn't get. So there aren't too many cons to this strategy. Just make sure it's stuff you're actually going to use. Another strategy that you can implement is if there's a palette or two or a skincare product or two you've had your eye on but it's just been really expensive and you know you want it, this will help you kick off a few dollars. And at that point, if you'd already been planning on the purchase, you might as well. Like there's there really no downsides to that. But as long as you're not jumping back to strategy one where it's just buy, 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 buy for the sake of buying, you should be good. The last strategy I have is don't buy <laughs> say a goddamn thing, <laughs> but don't buy anything. Uh, that's what I'll be doing this year. I will put on my blog post all the stuff that I'm going to be buying throughout the year. And before I knew the sale uh, was going to happen, I had to take a step back and realize like, Every other year, I've just bought stuff for the sake of buying stuff. My skin is in a good spot. My makeup collection's in a good spot. I just did that declutter, so check that out. Now is not the time to bring in a whole bunch of stuff. And my preferences are changing more towards luxury items, and that's not really things I can always buy in a Sephora. So I decided this year I was going to end up spending around 600 bucks. That would have been a nice bit of savings. Like, don't get me wrong. That would have been a nice bit of savings. It was like 80% skincare stuff. So it's stuff that I actually really wanted. Makeup is a little tricky because you can only use your makeup so often. But skincare is a daily thing. You can do it multiple times a day. So I feel like you can really get your money's worth versus makeup. So this is my strategy moving forward in life. Um, I'm going to be much more thoughtful with the stuff that I buy. I'll be using my cart as my shopping list. And over time as I want to switch out stuff. I'll go to the shopping list set of options and pick out something from there. There is one thing I might pick up because it is missing in my collection and I don't have a substitute for it right now. It will be on the blog. I'll call that one out. But guys, I would say save your money, honestly. This is not the time of the year with Christmas coming up, with travel coming up, with holidays coming up to feel like you have to waste money on makeup. If you're going to get gifts for someone and you had planned on getting them kind of something in the space, yeah, you might as well save a few dollars. The way to get the best bang for your buck, this is my last, last strategy, shop the clearance because that stuff is already severely marked down and then you're going to get additional savings off of that. That's the best way to get your bang for your buck when these sales happen. Another alternative is that Ulta and Sephora, up until now, have carried pretty similar stuff. Well, in a certain price range and brand range, they've carried similar stuff. So if you were thinking about getting the Anastasia palette and you don't have the money for it now, wait for it to go on sale as a prestige item at Ulta. Like, there's a little bit more flexibility. I used to be a Sephora girl through and through, and I've since broke away from that type of thinking, and it has saved my pocket a lot of money. All right, guys, that is it. I hope you enjoy these different tips and tricks and strategies. I get it. 
I love a good sale. I used to go crazy, but hopefully by watching my video it might help you to take a step back, maybe not blow some money, maybe just rethink what you were potentially going to do. And if you say, screw it, Ansley, I'm still going to do it anyways, the more power to you. I love dropping some serious cash on makeup, so I don't blame you. Don't forget to share this video with friends and family that you think will need this because I wish I had a video like this to just chill me out when I was growing up because, like I said, I've been rouged for a few good years. Uh, so that's a lot of money <laughs> that has been spent in this store. But, I mean, it's great that they do have a sale every now and then when they feel like treating us to something nice. Shade, no shade. But let me know what you guys are going to end up picking up from the store. I do have a few goodies that are coming in in the mail. I guess it's crazy because it's taking them, like, both over 10 days to get here. I don't know what's going on with that. I'm sick of calling their customer service though. So when they get here, I will do reviews on them and keep the content moving on my channel. So thank you guys for tuning on in. If you would like to see this foundation that I've got going on, I'm doing a wear test. The wear test will be up after this video. So I'll link it when it's done, but it is from the Burt's Bees new makeup line that just launched. So it should be interesting. All right, guys, take care. Have a great rest of the day and I will see you guys shortly. Bye.